Mr's social media rant posted soon after the country's recent 36 independent celebrations has sparked a massive virtual movement in which Zimbabweans are using social media to take back the political space. Still makes me want to cry. Leading a small church congregation in Harare, Evans Mawarire was used to posting inspirational videos on social media about marriage and relationships. But it wasn't until he posted a personal rant about struggling to raise school fees for his children that his posts went truly global. I looked at this small flag that I have that sits on my desk and I started asking the question, why is it that everything I have tried to do as a person in this country has not worked out. And one of the things that came to my mind was, I feel like my own country has stood in the way of my dream. They are blood. Shot they on a cell phone propped up on his life. desk, this is the video that has gone viral. They, they tell me that the black, the black is, for, is for the majority, people like me. And yet for some reason I don't feel like I am a part of it. Within hours, the post had attracted over 10,000 views, and within days, over 100,000. All over the world, hundreds of Zimbabweans have responded by posting photos of themselves wrapped in the national flag. They say they feel patriotic again. In a country where rights groups say civil liberties are routinely violated, and where those who dare to criticize the leadership face arrest. More and more Zimbabweans are feeling alienated and wanting to take back the political space. But you won't see them demonstrating here on the streets where protests have sometimes been brutally put down. They say that they feel safer expressing themselves through social media. Social media became a platform where we just share humor, and rightfully so, because we needed something to, you know, massage the pain away. So we laugh about some of the things we're going through. But it's now playing a key role because we are obviously now more connected than we've ever been before. Mawarire says his next move is to encourage Zimbabweans to move beyond social media. I'm not asking for the throwdown of our government or, or anything. I'm just saying, citizens, wake up. Let's, let's, let's live again in our own country. I want to encourage from the 1st of May to the 7th of May, we want to get as many Zimbabweans in this country to carry with them their national flag for seven solid days. And let's make a statement that the citizens are alive and that they want their country back. At its independence from colonialism in 1980, Zimbabwe was thought to hold the greatest hope for Africa. But the continent's former breadbasket has suffered a massive economic decline that has left 80% of the adult population without jobs. Emboldened by social media, a new generation hopes to regain their political voice and raise high the flag of Zimbabwe once again. Shingai Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe.